Baby, you the winner. Now the two or the three or the four. Now the five or the four or the three or the two. You the one. Who is that? When you need it on most. Who is that? When you need it on close. I was that? Baby, you can call me when you need me. I'm that? Baby, you can call me. Welcome, YouTube. Welcome back. I know y'all just seen us in the last video. Don't forget to watch that. If you haven't, go back to the channel. Go ahead and tune into that one. If you guys don't know who this is, today I'm going to let her introduce herself once again. What's up, guys? It's your girl, M, and I almost just said my intro. Um, <laughs> but I'm here on Annalise's channel, and I upload videos on my personal channel, and Mansfield, you can check it out. Uh, I do a lot of different vlogs. I talk about Real Housewives. I talk about a lot of different stuff. I yap on and Very on. Very different topics. For yeah, me. and sometimes I cry on the internet, so be aware of that. <laughs> um, and then it's also just me and my dog. So um, if you're interested in just kind of a girl failing her way through life, I'm. <laughs> But we're going right through that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. As y'all seen by this title and this thumbnail today, we are basically going to have a little girl talk going over confidence in yourself, relationships, motivation, and more. So I have a list of questions that I'm going to ask Emily as well. She, you know, we can both answer the question and just yeah. see what perspectives we both have on it. There's an age difference between me and Emily, so we mm -hmm. might have different mindsets into how we feel about the questions I'm about to ask. I'm very old. <laughs> She don't look it, so I'm just, like, I'm just gonna put that out there. She does not look it. But before we even get into this video, don't forget to like this video, comment down below, subscribe to the channel if you're new or if you've never seen my face before. And if you have seen my face before, welcome back to the family. And if not, go ahead and join the family. But we're gonna kick it in with the first question. First question is how to have more confidence. Who? Okay, so for me personally, I've learned that the less I judge myself and the less I judge others, the more confident and the better I feel. Because I feel like when you're like down on yourself all the time and you're constantly judging yourself and you're putting yourself through all this like pressure when really there's no pressure. Nobody's yeah. expecting you to be perfect. And I would like shut down because I'm like it's not perfect it's not the right way it's supposed to be it's not this it's not that it's not how I envisioned it yeah and I I would beat myself down and I think once I realized like people are gonna either love me or hate hey. me I can't change it I just have to be me and that that really <laughs> switched it up for me I feel that I feel like my perspective of having more confidence is you know, people are obviously going to say all kinds of things about you, and mm -hmm. it's up to you to, you know, entertain those comments, entertain phone calls, which is anything it can be just as far as entertaining it. Mm -hmm. However, you know genuinely what you are, who you are. They can say you're the ugliest person on the entire planet right. Earth, but you know deep down inside that's not true. So I've learned to like avoid people, not entertain others. Definitely if I know it's not true, don't mm -hmm. let nobody sabotage me. Don't sit here and drown in my self-pity or nothing like that. I'm very, very, very strong-minded. I think very positively. Mm -hmm. So I think that's one way I feel like I boost my confidence and not allowing others to sabotage me and my character. Yeah, no, that's how truly. I feel about the yeah. situation. But next question is, how do you know if a guy actually likes you? How do you feel you Ooh. know, like, okay, yeah, he's not horse playing. He's that guy that wants to be that guy. Okay, so for me personally, I've, I've created this new rule. This is my new rule for dating. Even though I'm not dating right now, this is my new rule for dating. If a man wants to be serious with me and wants the benefits of having me in their life right. in all facets i'm not just saying like in everything mm -hmm. you i need to have four steak dinners four steak dinners okay and i'm not saying one right after the next and i'm not saying they have to be at the fanciest steak dinner restaurant i'm saying if like listen you could take me to Applebee's or Chili's and get me a steak dinner mm -hmm. and that's fine by me 
don't try to take me to Denny's to get me steak and <laughs> eggs, but or just cook the steak at home. But I think with men, you have there has to be they have to have some sort of level of investment right. into a woman. And a man is not just gonna buy some girl he doesn't really like for steak dinners. Yeah. He's yeah. not gonna do it, even no, no. if it is at Chili's or Applebee's. So for me personally, I think you have to see <coughs> what their level of investment is into you. Or like, are they listening to you? Are you saying like, do they remember the conversation? Yeah, yeah, do they remember the conversations? Do they remember that you like getting this at the gas station? Do they remember that you said this about your mom? Or like, do they remember things about <laughs> you? And just like, they can tell you anything. They can yeah, tell you anything. Can anything. Words can be said I agree. that aren't true. It's their actions. I definitely agree with yeah. that. On my end, I'm not even going to lie to you. Like, I'm a very, <laughs> very, very different person. Like, my last relationship, it literally took me two years to bring him around my family. Like, mm -hmm. I'm very different. I'm the type of person that likes to go home to my own home, to my own bed, mm -hmm. sleeping it alone. I like to make sure that if I leave my toothbrush facing this way on the sink, it's going to stay facing this way, not be moved right. this way. Like, I'm a very, very independent person. So, when it comes to a guy and me knowing if he genuinely likes me, and I can use my ex-relationship for an example. He um, he put that effort in. You know, we were young, and mm -hmm. he did put the effort in. And I felt like when we got too attached, we both came to an agreement. Like, okay, let's take a couple months. Let's chill right. out. Let's not talk. And so we got to that point where it's like, oh, well, no, I don't want to take a break no more. You know, right, like, right. I, wanna, I genuinely want to be with you. He would be the type to make sure I had everything I wanted, everything I needed. Mm -hmm. If I called him and said, hey, I'm hungry, he stops what he's doing. He brings me whatever I want from whatever right. side of town. Um, he would help me, you know, make the bed in the morning. He would help me take the laundry down. It's just little yeah. things that I see that, like, and going exactly. back to what Emily said, your actions. You can tell me yep. as much as you want to tell me. Oh, I really like you. Oh, I think I love you. I think I'm in love with you. And that's fine. I might genuinely believe yeah. you, but for I me mean, to genuinely good too. accept it. Yeah. I'm the person that kind of where it takes yeah. a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, lot of time for me to just open right. up to anybody or trust anybody. Mm -hmm. But I feel like our perspectives can be kind of different, but because yeah. I'm very independent. And not so, and it's not speaking mm -hmm. financial or nothing like that. It's just my mentality. I love yeah. to be alone. Like, I genuinely love to be alone. So I'm, I'm okay being alone too, but like, I just like, like in my next whatever, I just want to see that there's like, like, and I'm not, like, some, like, I don't want, like, when I say steak dinner for it to be, like, gold digger or whatever. Like, a man could literally just cook right. me a steak in his at, apartment. At house, yeah. yeah, like, all four times. Like, I just want to see that there's, like, effort effort you know being made. Some type of yeah. thoughts and feelings going yeah. into these things. Like, instead of, he could say, like, oh, well, instead of going out, let me cook it for you. Right. I would rather and, you cook it for me right, than go no, anywhere. literally, because I'm a homebody, too. Same. So, I'm like, if you, if if a man said, let come over and wear sweatpants, whatever, I'm going to make this dinner. It, I'd rather that. Like, then. I would rather that. Yeah. 100%. But don't get it wrong, though. There is yeah, some yeah, nice yeah. that y'all got to go out and experience each exactly. other as, you know, and, one. And, as becoming one. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Not just... Y'all gotta learn each other, you know what I'm saying, to make sure y'all gonna be able to come one. I know? just think that there has to be a level of investment from the man because, like, I know how I am in relationships. Once yeah. I'm with you, I'll cook, I'll clean, I'll do, I'll do everything I can to take care of you. So I want to make sure that you're listening to me, right? And you're fulfilling my needs as well. Right. No, I agree. Yeah. And do you feel like it's vice versa though? Like, do you feel like if a man is reciprocating all this energy to you because? Obviously, we feel like actions mm -hmm. are way more than just words. Do you feel like you would reciprocate those same standards that you have for him towards him? Oh, Oh, one hundred percent. Yeah, like I would I think want, it's only right. Yeah, I would want him to feel like I'm putting a level of investment right. in them. Like, as hey, well. you cooked for me last week. Let me cook. Yeah, for you like week. if I could just be in a situation where it's like I'm cooking dinner, you're doing the dishes, like just like a back and forth, like that's perfect. You just want a partner. It's a teammate. partner. Yeah. You don't want. To feel like you're cleaning up your child. Mother. Exactly. Somebody's mother, bro. That's the worst thing. I'm a dog world. mom, and that's the only mom I am. <laughs> Same. I'm a dog mom, and that's it. I'm not a mother yet. All right. Those, I feel like those are good answers. Yeah. Next question is, if a guy... I'm going to exaggerate the question a little bit and then okay. ask what I have here. 
But if a guy is genuinely showing he likes you and you're at the point where you're like, okay, like I want to cave because I like him too. How do you keep standing on business and not focus on him? I'm going to be honest with you. It is very, very hard for me. When I'm into somebody and I love somebody, I, I'm like, I'm very, I'm like a very passionate person and I also have a Pisces moon and I know not everybody is in astrology or whatever, but I'm like a hopeless romantic. Like, yeah. so it's very hard for me. I daydream. I'm like, oh, it's going to be like this. Like, I have to ground my, I have to try to ground, I need to do better mm -hmm. in the future because I think in the past I haven't been so good at it. But I need to ground myself in reality. Right. And not be like, and not look at the potential. Yeah. And look at what's really going on. And not be like, oh, it's going to be like this. It's going to be like this. No, I need to see what it's really like. Really like, yeah. And then we can make a decision. Because I think sometimes you like miss red flags when you're like, oh, this, la -la person, yeah, this person can do no wrong. Oh, my God, he did this. He did this. And they're you're all out. Like you're right. stargazing at right. this point. <laughs> And there was one time, like, my best friend said something to me that was, like, so real. She was, like, she was, like, just because he's being nice to you doesn't mean anything else is going <laughs> to come of it. He, she was, like, you deserve for anybody to be nice to you. Right. But you, like, just because he's being nice doesn't mean anything. Right. right. <laughs> she's not wrong. Like, she's like, not wrong. being nice is a bare minimum thing. <laughs> I feel like that's how a lot of men get what they want from a woman. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's not okay, but, I mean, a man's going to be a man, a woman's going to so be a So, I'm not the best at standing on business. You seem like you're the best at standing on Me? business. Me? I just heard you stand <laughs> on business on the phone, so... <laughs> yeah, so you need to be the one giving the advice. I don't Well, what's up, Oh, my God. Okay, so, me, personally, I feel like... Every December, every December, it never fails. I write mm -hmm. out my goals. I write out when I want to reach them, how I want to reach them, and what it's going to take for me to reach them. Mm -hmm. I then learn I cannot reach all these goals overnight. Yeah. So, of course, I got a list. I'm going to pick one. I'm going to achieve one at a time. And when I put my mind to something mm -hmm. and say, I'm going to get this done by this time, and I'm going to get this done by this time, can't nobody get in my way. I don't care how yeah. in love you think you're <laughs> Can't nobody get in my way. And that's just because I'm very focused. Growing up, I would be distracted by a lot of things. So I had to teach mm -hmm. myself to focus and get things done. That way I can stay out of trouble being a kid. But mm -hmm. I feel like that that's... When I have a mindset on something, nobody can change my mind. And that, it doesn't matter what the situation that's good. is. Like that, yeah. No, I, I envy you. And sometimes I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes I hate that I am that way because it's like you wish you could be a little, little more warm-hearted. Because yeah. a lot of people are like, "Oh, you don't. You're so cold-hearted. You don't care about nobody but yourself and da, 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 whatever." But what people fail to realize is nobody's gonna do the work for me. Right. So right, if right. I'm taking this time to be by myself and do things for myself and make sure I'm putting myself first and learning how to love myself first. The people that are saying I'm so cold-hearted and don't care about nobody right. or stuff like that, you genuinely don't want what's best for me because you're not going to reach my goals for me. Right. So that's no, one hundred percent. I think I think you and I are the opposites in that way. Like I think that you, what really anybody should do is find the balance of in between. Like right. it's a double-edged right. sword. Like you need. You I feel like she could call me one day and be like, "Well, I'm like." No. Right, right. Don't do it. Or Literally. I can call her, she'd be like, oh, we'll try. Like, yeah, whatever. yeah. So it's like, you got to have that, you got to have that balance. But and you I have, feel like we meet there. Right, right. 50-50. Like right. That's crazy. That's crazy. Okay. Next question is, how do you handle a busy schedule? Okay, so I have ADHD, so scheduling is hard <laughs> for me. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> scheduling is really hard for me, and it's only in my late 20s that I've gotten my shit together when it comes to how I need to operate mm -hmm. with my brain. So for me personally, now I also, the ADHD, like my ADHD, like that does not prevent me from being on time. I am on time all the time. <laughs> I'm always late, I'm not gonna lie. I am, <laughs> I, that is my number one thing because time is not something you can get back. So I At value- all. I value my time, I value other people's time, and if I know I have something going on at 7 p.m. on You're there Thursday, by 6, 30, 6, 45. I'm there, and if I'm, if for whatever reason, I'm gonna be late, it, I will only be, 
if I'm five minutes late, I'm apologizing to you like you're going to shoot me in the face. Right. Like, I'm literally like, I'm so apologetic. Or if I know I'm running late, I, I always shoot a text, call, say, hey, I'm running late. I'm so sorry because I don't want anybody to just be sitting there <laughs> waiting for me. And it's crickets. Like, yeah. they don't know anything. Yeah, they, they don't, don't have any updates. On. They're just like... Yeah, what's yeah. going on? Like, why? And most late? people are like, I'm very understanding, but like, if you have me sitting waiting for a half hour, right? I'm gonna start to get. I'm not gonna lie, being late is frustrating. Being yeah. late is frustrating. Like, if I if I expect somebody to be somewhere and you're late, it's mm -hmm. so frustrating. But okay, and that goes to my answer. Um, <laughs> I feel like how I'm able to handle a busy schedule is after losing family member after family member after family member i think mm -hmm. i learned how to prioritize my schedule and yeah. learn how to put what matters in my schedule more and just stand on business as right. to like okay i said i'm gonna spend the day with my mom and my brothers this sunday that's what i'm gonna do true if, if anybody can call my phone and like oh hey come to the bar and, and yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm with my family today you know what i mean yeah. and with that i am not gonna lie i used to be late to a lot of things <laughs> like seriously and yeah. i hate and what's so sad about it is i hate being late yeah like, it bothers me it just be off when yeah, i'm late yeah. like everyone around me is gonna get in the deal because i'm mad you know what i'm saying but i think that's how i handle a busy schedule yeah. i learned after I guess being hurt a couple times, like dang, when my sister passed, I'm like, dang, I could have spent yeah. more time with her. I could, it's, it's nothing but a four hour drive. That's no, nothing truly. to make, you know? So I think living with a lot of regrets is how I'm able to maintain yeah. a busy schedule. I think with my schedule too, like I just try to look at what's directly in front of me. Cause right. if I get lost in like all like the future planning, <clears throat> I don't need to go that far i don't need to be worried about what i'm doing two years from now just, on what's going a on random right day i need to be concerned about what's going on right now what the immediate future yeah, is i agree with that so yeah i definitely agree with that okay next question is how do you distance yourself from people causing problems and you don't feel the need for them in your life anymore because i've come across these situations yeah. before as well and i just don't know how to handle situations like that this is hard for me because I'm, like I said, I'm a benefit of the doubt giver. Right. I'm somebody that's going to be like, Especially I'm a Especially there's time involved. Yeah, you know? yeah. Like, I, I can be very like, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. But I saw this like TikTok, it's like a therapist made a TikTok and he said, the people who deserve the benefit of the doubt rarely, if ever, even need it. And that, that's tough. that that flipped my perspective. So I oh, think yeah, no I think now like for me, like friends, I haven't really had that many toxic friends or whatever, but I'm yeah. pretty good at being like, you know what, is done. I don't talk you don't talk to me, I don't talk to you. It is what it is. Right. It's I, I don't feel the need to have like closure or a big conversation right. or anything. Um, but it has been harder for me, like with family because family will feel like they can say whatever they want to say lie, i feel like family hits worse it does because they feel like they can say whatever they want to say yeah. with impunity and like they can just do whatever like and no respect yeah no, like emotions yeah. involved no i definitely agree so with it is like definitely hard like it just like it depends on the person and it depends on that but like i'm also somebody that like if i'm going through something or like i feel like somebody is moving <laughs> funny like i just excuse myself and i don't feel the need to like go back or reach out or anything if you reach out to me fine we cool, can have a conversation yeah. but i i don't feel like you need to have like a whole like cathartic thing and be like oh this is why i feel like this no just because oh, for me when i'm done i'm done you like yeah. that's it <laughs> i've been a it takes like a that. lot of fucking times excuse my language but once I get there, I'm I'm done. Shut up! Like once you're over the top, you're not yeah. going below, back in under right. the roof. Right. We're, we're not we're not dealing with it anymore. I feel like the way I deal with certain situations in regards to negativity, you know, negative friends or negative family, especially family. Like, yeah, I have more negative family members than negative friends that I probably like. I seriously. think that's for me too. Seriously. Yeah. So my perspective is, I literally like I see my family envy me envy mm -hmm. my household i see people hate that i'm able to do the things that i'm able to do when i'm able right. to do them um but i have gone out a couple times and i'm like 
we're all drinking, you know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. me, I'm the type of friend, like, if I invite you out, I got the tab. Don't worry about right, it, you know what right. I mean? Because you took the time out of your day to come spend right. with me, you know? But I feel like if I get invited out, it's like, dude, or a girl, whoever it may yeah, be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just took you out yesterday, paid a $500 tab on alcohol. Right. What's going on today? You know right, what I'm saying? Right, like, right, I don't, right. I don't, but... I'm also not the type of person to judge anybody. Yeah. So there I go, boom, I'll take care of it. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. if I can do it, why not do it? Right. So if obviously you're not doing it, I'm like, okay, maybe he can't or maybe she can't, whatever the case may be. Yeah. But at the same time, I don't judge any friend or any family member I have. It's right. gotten to the point where I've been able to become more mature over mm -hmm. the years because just five years ago, Hey, you yeah. would have hey, been fighting or whatever the case may have been. It, I yeah. would have been saying hurtful things to try to like ruin your life. Like I was so yeah. childish and very immature just five, just literally five years ago. Right. And so now I'm just like, that's how you feel. That's how you feel. You know what I mean? But like, mm -hmm. if you need me, you can call me. However, if you burn that bridge with me, you just show, mm -hmm. you just did it. That you just did what I needed you to do to get you out of my way. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? No, truly. Like truly. that's that's how I feel about that situation. Like I don't judge nobody though. I don't hate none of my family members. I don't hate any of my friends. Honestly, like I hang around this one group of friends like before I started coming over here. Like this yeah. one group of friends and we actually me and her graduated high school together and the rest of them are like her family members. Yeah. But that's literally it. If I'm not over there, or at home, I'm all literally over right, there. right. Like that's it. I don't, I don't really like to go out in public no more. Like I'm, I've become a homebody because just last year, yeah. 2023, I was partying way too much, mm -hmm. like six days, five, six days a week. Yeah, literally, like that was. And that drains you. It does. Yeah. It's tiring, yeah, bro. Like yeah. it's so tiring. So that's how I feel about mm -hmm. that situation. But the next question is, what motivates you on days to do your best when you don't feel like it? <laughs> honestly i'm gonna be real and like people can call me corny or whatever like like dog mom whatever mm. honestly it's poseidon like because on a day like if i don't if i wake up and i feel like i'm i don't want to get out of bed mm. i have to get out of bed this dog yeah. has to go to the bathroom he has, he has to, to eat. eat all of that stuff and like for me like personally like it's like if I'm in a mindset state of like my life is shitty, my life is shitty. Right. <clears throat> I will do anything I can to make sure his life isn't that way because right. he deserves a good life. Right. He's a happy dog. Just because they're a dog does not right. mean they don't have right. feelings. Bro. Exactly. Like, so I've literally become attached to yeah, people, like, like emotionally and everything. Exactly. So like he's really my big motivator because like you know <laughs> when I wake up and I'm feeling like crap like. I look at him and he's like wagging his tail. He's happy. He's ready to go. Like he's right. ready to start the day. So then, and then in the process of like, I have to get up. I have to take him out. I have to <laughs> feed him. And then it's like, okay, well I'm down here. Might as well make my coffee. Right. Might as well make something to eat. So it's like, it forces me to get up. Sometimes I'm not going to lie. Sometimes we go right back to the bed and sometimes mm -hmm. we, you know, get our day started and we actually like get, get productive. I'm not saying like, Every day is perfect, but right. it's like, I think if you can't expect to bat a thousand every day, oh, but yeah. you can step up to the plate every day. And you can try. Yeah, day, you, know you can, I mean? you can try. Like oh, you might strike that's out. Why, that's wisdom. Yeah, right there. <laughs> like, you might strike out, but at least you, yeah. you were there. You stepped once up. Once three strikes you out, exactly. you gotta change something. Literally. Yep. So that, that's how I look at it. I just try to like, whatever I'm feeling inside, put that on the back burner i want my dog to be good right. right i feel like okay because yes i do have a dog right but before the dog i have now i've never been a pet lover like i hated <laughs> pets like and it's not that i hated the pet in particular is any pet that has fur i will yeah. freak out like if i had fur on my shirt i'm freaking out like i gotta take a whole shower i gotta change yeah. my whole outfit like now I got a dog, they got dogs, right. like my dog gets hair on me, their dog, like it's right. me, like whatever the case may be. But before her, because now that I've gotten emotionally attached to her, like yeah. it's so crazy, bro. Like when she cries, I cave. Like when yeah, she yeah. just looks at, I cave. Mm -hmm. Like before that though, I'm gonna say because of my past and seeing my mother grow up and seeing the way my mother's mother raised her and just mm -hmm. seeing what I'm seeing to this day, like, I wake up every day thinking of a new way to 
get my family somewhere. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't have any kids of my own. However, I do have six brothers. And those six brothers Move are my sons yeah. before anybody. Yeah, you know yeah. You know what I mean? Like, they, they will run to me and call me mom before mm -hmm. they run to anybody in the family. You know what right. I mean? Like, and we have an aunt as well. Like, one aunt in my family, like, we're just all very, very well connected. Mm -hmm. So because of that relationship with her, I'm also waking up every day figuring out, like, how can I make a way to pay off her truck? Right. Get that bill off of her. You know what I'm saying? Because why? Mm -hmm. She deserves it. Yeah. She showed us genuine love. She showed us true feelings. Never neglected us. Mind you, we didn't talk for five years. Wow. We, we just started wow. talking at the beginning of, like, a year ago. That's crazy. Literally. Like, yeah. literally. Like, in all the first moments, like, she was mom to us when my mom was working. You know what right, I mean? Right, so right, right. when I was younger. Mm -hmm. So, like, all those memories, like, I got my driver's license. I turned 21. Yeah. Like, not being able to experience those things with her. It hurts. Kill me, yeah, you know? yeah. Like, it it hurts. me. So, it takes, you know, but it also takes two to tango. You right, know? So right, right. It's never... But I, that, that's going to be the way that I am able to function every day because my brothers call me every day like, hey, hey sis, what mm -hmm. you doing? Hey, sister. And all six of them do not call me by my name. They all call me oh, sister. Oh, that's so like, sweet. Not, one, not even the 20-year-old that's about to be 21. Yeah. He still calls me sister. Like, all of them. So, <laughs> hey, sis, can you come spend the day with us today? Like, those are my motivation. Mm -hmm. I wake up every day thinking of a new way to make sure I get them somewhere in life, to right. make sure I'm able to pay their college tuitions when it's time they go to college. Like, they're my priority, you know what I mean? Yeah. And now that I have a little baby dog, <laughs> uh, she as well, like, she's a yeah. big motivation for me as well. Like, she's just, at first, I didn't even want the dog. Like, <laughs> I didn't even want, it's like me and my ex, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. co-parent with her. It's weird, you know. But there are people out there that really do that. Though. No, there is. There so, is. but I didn't even want the dog or have nothing to do with the dog, but I ended up with the dog and now he can't get her back mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying i told him i'll see you in court if that's what you really <laughs> but <clears throat> that's how i feel that yeah. that's, that would be my what motivates me but next question is how do you find genuine friends and how do you know that they're genuine okay so and that's tough <laughs> yeah it, it's a tough one um my best friends in the world are the people that i went to high school with then my friend group from high school so right. like um my one best friend stephanie she was we were in color guard together we became best friends through that right. and we went through a lot because we were together literally the only day we did like sunday was like the only day we didn't see each she other, other. Like, <laughs> you know what i'm saying like we were with each other all the time so yeah um I like have a friend like that, that yeah that bond just like gets created when you're spending so much time with somebody right um because our practice schedule was nuts like yeah. crazy yeah. um and then my other friend my other best friend abby she is um she's two years older than me but she our ex-boyfriends were best friends and then oh, we, wow. and we both got dumped around the same time <laughs> oh, that's crazy. so she reached out to me one weekend one weekend was like i heard about the breakup and i was still in denial about my breakup and i was like yeah we're on a break but uh, it was a breakup and so then she was like well i'm going through one too like we can hang out best friends ever since ever since we were um, there for each other yeah we were there for each other both lost y'all all over <laughs> yep and then um and so those are like my two like main friends. I have like other friends that I'm still close with too that I went to high school with. Mm -hmm. But the, like those are the two like in my core group or whatever. But um, I do have friends. I do have other friends from my hometown and <coughs> um, high school and stuff. But like as far as currently as an adult, it's a lot harder to make real genuine friends. I agree. But I think that it is like it does have to do with like finding people that have the same interests as you. So if you like same goals, same yeah, morals, same goals, things like that, like yeah. say you like want to start making new friends, like think about the stuff that you're interested in, like take a pottery class or right. do like something like that or like do karate or something like that, like Anything. some some kind of activity where you can meet like-minded people and like of your same age yeah of your same age range yeah. and then like maybe you don't meet anybody but you realize like oh i really just fuck with myself like because i'm doing yeah. these activities and there's nothing by wrong myself with that and there's, either, you know yeah I mean? there's nothing wrong with it so um just that and then like through work too i guess but really you just have to find somebody that has like the same interests and Values, like you said, and yeah. then also I think um, I think at the same point in life as you. you know yeah, I mean? and then also just like the um, 
the same like energy like yeah. uh, a level of investment in their actions like yeah. to see how yeah. they how they move you know i agree i agree with that um uh, me i'm not gonna lie i do have one friend literally this one <laughs> friend like we were bad influencers to each other in high school like really bad like we would mm -hmm. skip school I'm not say the part, but, like, you know, skip school, not go to school, do things we weren't supposed to do. We were really bad influences on each other. However, I learned to realize that she was a genuine friend when I dropped out of high school. Mm -hmm. Because her and my mom... Poseidon. Poseidon. So, like, because her and my mother were, like, the two people that pushed for my education and pushed for mm -hmm. me to graduate, that was one of the moments I realized, like, Hey, like that's gonna be my right or die. Like that's my right. right hand. Like any friends be like, oh, you're dumb. Like you ain't graduate. Yeah, cool, yeah. I'm gonna graduate. You know what I mean? But after that, like I even had a surgery. Like she was there, and mm -hmm. the my biological father side of my family. Like I don't take nobody over there. So and that's right. why I said like it yeah. took me two years to take my ex boyfriend around them. And even then, I was like, a part of me felt like, dang, did I make a mistake? Right. Like because. A year and a half, two years after that, like we started, you know, fading mm -hmm. away or just going through it or whatever. But my friend is literally like the only person that has met my family, and for them to like her, that that right. was like, you know, like that, that that meant a lot to me. So it's about their actions. It's about her actions and how I knew she was genuine. Mm -hmm. Now when I come over here, it's like my first day here. Like nobody knew me. Like not even Nate. You know, what I'm saying that was my yeah. and Nate's first time meeting. But the way I felt welcome and the way I felt like appreciated, like whatever the case may have been, like. Hey, do you want something to drink? Or hey, you can sit right, right here. Or right. Whatever the case may have been, I felt that that was genuine as well. You know what I mean? And that's mm -hmm. why I reciprocate the same. Right, energy. right, right. Like, I'm never gonna be that one-sided. Like, oh well, they let me come over all the time. Like, I'm just gonna go over. Not like, right. hey, which I want to eat tonight. Like, I'm yeah. gonna bring something to eat. Whatever the case may be. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's how I feel like actions show who's genuine and who's not genuine. Because if they're not acting in no kind of way and they're only acting in defense, it's like right what's really going no, on you exactly. know what i mean like but that's gonna be one of my ways of knowing a friend is genuine or not truly but next question is what are some red flags and green flags that you see in a guy name three red flags and three green flags okay so <laughs> i'm gonna say green flags treats their mom well oh my goodness that's number one Yo, that's like very very important that's like number me. one i want to see how they treat their mother <sighs> and number two i want to see how they treat people that are like bartenders <laughs> hotel workers <coughs> right. retail workers i want to see how they interact the with, community with basically. with with other people in everyday life like right. if you're a guy that's gonna stiff a waitress because something didn't turn out quite right but she was per like did, did everything, everything in her power she, did to everything fix it, in her right? power to fix it and like you're gonna be a dick and not give her a good tip like yeah. no I understand there I, listen I come from a line of servers my grandma was a server my mom was a server right right I was a server at times I so you like know how they feel yeah you know so I mean? like they they could be doing the worst job I'm still gonna tip them the right amount because that's the right thing to do like i don't care speaking of like doing the worst <laughs> job ever i'm sorry to cut you off. But speaking of like doing the worst job ever i went to um this bike uh, a biker rally in galveston the mm -hmm. lone star 2023 biker rally and i had someone come down he was down from louisiana his biker yeah. friends came right he's like the leader of the group right mm -hmm. so they came and we all go sit down and eat at uh either denny's or ihop or somewhere yeah we had like the worst customer service in life bro mm -hmm. like the worst bro and we still managed to tell the manager, like, oh, you know, your guy's doing good, like, whatever. They're doing. Right. And then we're looking at each other, like, why are we lying? Like, yeah, this it's because bad. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bash him and, like, right. possibly him lose his job because he messed up everybody's order. Yeah. There's, like, four of us there. Everybody's order was wrong. Yeah. Like, it, simple instructions at that, too. You know? Yeah. Like, I, too. I just think, like, it says a lot about somebody's character. Like, I don't care if you send something back if it's not the way you want it or whatever. Yeah. But, like, don't be a dick about it you know there's a way to handle things yeah, there's no, a way right. to there's move. always a way to handle Poseidon, things. come on come Poseidon over here wants to be seen, <laughs> he wants to be seen <laughs> um but that's another green flag so i want to see like if they if they're very respectful kind to people that they meet people that they right. have no connection to right um i want to see how that is also i'm trying to think of another green flag um 
<laughs> that first one hit home. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I will, mm, how they take care of themselves. I want to like. I want to see a guy that like um, is passionate about what he believes in. Is making sure is focusing on himself and his goals right. and is you know you know working towards something. I don't want to just be with somebody that's just like just doesn't there, doesn't just care. There, yeah, doesn't care about life. life same does, the fun, you know, like not trying to do nothing with the nine. Right, five, right, know, like. like Work a nine to five, do whatever, but like I want to see that you of have course, passions course. outside of it too. Like yeah. I want to see like, oh, you do music too, you do this too. Like I, I like to see that. But then red flags would be, <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, let's see, somebody that doesn't want to contribute or somebody that like puts everything on you. So like if you want to go out and do something, you have to make the plan. Like I want right. a guy that could like take initiative. Right um another red flag is just like disrespectful language like calling oh, wow. if you call like i i, I don't want to be with a man that's going to call every woman every other woman a bitch or a hoe or this or that yeah I, fact if how you call you the b word right should not even be with dude if, if if you're calling some woman you don't know you have no personal connection to and you're just like oh she's a thought she's a whore she's a bitch you don't know her. You don't have any connection. Why are you so concerned? I, I do not like that. Like, so I... I, I just shows how you were genuinely Yeah, genuine that just shows how... Like, I, I don't want to see you talking about women out yeah. of their name or whatever. Yeah. But, um, and then... Also... I'm trying to think what else. What else? What else? Red flags. <laughs> just being overly aggressive. Yeah. Overly aggressive. Somebody that, like... It, I mean, I, I I have had my moments where you know my dad is Italian. I have I have you know there's <laughs> there's there's some rage in there. That like, blood running through. You know what I'm saying? Like so, but like just somebody that is just like super quick to anger without looking at the big picture. Like you can get angry, you can have your feelings, you're justified in it. But I don't want to be with somebody that's just like slamming doors all the time and just like instead of being able to communicate. Yeah, yeah. Like communicate your feelings. Like I get it, you're angry, but let's. You know, it's crazy that I can say that though, because when it comes to communication and me, yeah, I don't do it. Like <laughs> I don't even want to hear nothing you gotta say. I'm not gonna explain myself to you. Right? Like, no, bro, I'm bro. a communicator. That's something I'm trying to work on. Though, yeah, because yeah, yeah. I like I just don't like to talk about nothing I'm going through. Like, yeah, that's another. No, I feel but you. That's I'm nice. gonna say my three green flags, and if I exceed more, it's because obviously, you know, mm -hmm. but. My first one is obviously gonna be how a man treats his mother. Like that's yep. top. That's but number one always. When I when you said that and I I kind of thought about it. I'm like, what if that man's mother wasn't the mother she was, and I quote supposed to be. Yeah. You know I'm saying like, then how do you go about that? So it's, it's, it's there's 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 pros and cons to it, but at the end of the day, she's still a woman and she's still your mother, and that's how I feel. I think you know I mean? how you handle it, like if you can like be. Maybe not like rational, but or like just like if you can communicate, I have these feelings towards my mom for X, Y, and Z. If you can, if you can actually put that in words, then I could be like, okay, I, 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 understand. I, I understand that. But if you're just like, my mom's a blah, 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 yeah. blah, blah, there's a way to go about things. And, see, and I've dealt with, I've dealt with a situation like that before. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's like a lot of miscommunication when it came to me, him, and then his side of the family. Yeah. And then you know it happened like once or twice on my side of the family, but like it, I've been, I've been in that predicament. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And it's like even after the fight, I'm telling him like, forget why me, me and that individual are fighting. You know what right. I mean? Like. Now I'm focused on you because you just disrespected her in a way I wouldn't let you disrespect right, right, my right. mother. You know exactly. what I mean? So now I'm more focused on you and I'm like, hey, that's your mom. Right, right. Like, you're not going to do that in my household. No, you know what totally. I mean? So I've been in a situation like that before. For Completely forgot I was fighting with that one family member and put my focus on him. Yeah, and I was yeah. like, whoa, no, we're not doing that because you're not going to do that to my mother. So you're not going to do right. it to yours in our home where we pay bills at to be comfortable. You know what right, I mean? Right, right, right. So that, that, that no, was that's. Sure. That was another like point to that, but that yeah. green flag. But yeah. my second one is gonna be, I'm gonna ask you where are your priorities at? Like you have to have mm -hmm. priorities. You have to make sure those priorities are taken care of every day because no matter what day of the week it is or what day of the month it is, like you have priorities that you gotta take yeah. care of, take care of every day. And it could be the simplest thing like feeding your dog, letting yeah. your dog out, or making your bed. Like I Little wanna see things. where your priorities yeah, are. I wanna yeah. see where your head is at. 
my third green flag is gonna no doubt and i wish this was my first but because it means a lot to me yeah hygiene bro no hygiene, hygiene yep. like you no, have to smell important. good your fingernails gotta be cut clean clear coated like no, pedicures true. manicures yeah. like that means so much to me like hygiene yeah. is like no i agree with that i agree but with that. <clears throat> i'm gonna say my three red flags dang bro like i'm gonna say and it's part of me as well i'm gonna mm -hmm. say communication for sure like yeah the way you go about the situation, the way you talk about it, the way you handle it, the way you emotionally express yourself. Like, I want to see all of those things. And if right. you're negatively doing it, that's obviously going to be my red flag. My second red flag is probably going to be... Dang, bro, there's like so <laughs> many red flags, bro. Um, there's a lot. Respecting my wishes. Like, right, if I right. tell you, um, no, we can't buy that for the house because this is how I feel about that certain item. Like, right, if we're right. a partner, these are sacrifices we have to make where you should have been like, you're right, it's not healthy for us, we don't need yeah. a house, versus you go back the next day and it's in the house the next yeah, day, yeah. you know what I mean? And it can I, be anything, yeah. groceries, um, a firearm, um, any little thing, it can be anything. Right. It can be a, a couch, TV, a TV yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? But respecting my wishes. If you don't respect me, that's a big red flag to me. And it's vice versa, like, I'm going to respect your wishes as well. My third red flag is probably going to be... Dang, bro, there's like so many negative things in there, <laughs> which is bad. Yeah, but like, yeah. It's, man, um, hmm. I think I'm gonna go back to priorities. It could be a green flag and yeah. a red flag for me because if your priorities are not set on straight, bro, right. like, you wanna have a kid first and then buy a home and then get married? Like, no, that's not gonna yeah. fly. You know what I mean? Like, I'm gonna take priorities for a green flag and red flag yeah. on my end. Like, I think also, like, going back to like the respecting your wishes i think like you need to find somebody that has the same values money wise right because <laughs> a, a big spender can't be like it's gonna be hard to be a big spender yeah. when you're with somebody that doesn't want to spend a dime and i think you have to have real honest conversations about finances before you enter a relationship or marriage with somebody no, because finances make or break so many and I, I know exactly what she's talking about because i've been in yeah. that situation as well and yeah. this is all with Me the same too. person yeah. you know what i mean like we've been together six you know six years it would have been seven years yeah. you know what i mean like that's my childhood friend. That's my best friend now. You know what I'm saying? Whether he likes her or not, whether he wants to be there or not, whether we end up at whatever right. the case may be. But with that situation, it's like when we first moved in together, it's like, okay, you want to move me out of where I'm from. Right. Therefore, if you're moving me out of my environment where I'm, com where I'm comfortable at and I know my routine, I know what needs to be paid, when it needs to be paid and how mm -hmm. much it is, you're going to be responsible for where right. we go next. You know what I mean? You right. want to move me out. I didn't ask you to move me out in the beginning. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, granted, when we got our next place together and agreed on it together, it's like, okay, mm -hmm. cool. We're partners. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, now we got to talk these things out. And I feel like that's where the communi right. communication comes in wrong for me because I suck at it. He tried. <laughs> and I'm just like, I don't want to hear it. Like, right, right, right. That's, that's, that's one of my red flags. I really. Line. But, all right, that was pretty good. Next question is... How to stay motivated to be clean and healthy? Um, I think sometimes there are a lot of things you can't control, but you can control whether you take a shower, you can control whether right. you're taking care of yourself. <laughs> so I think for me personally, it's like, you know what, I may feel shitty about this, this, and this, and this, and this, but what can I do right now? I could go take a walk, I can mm -hmm. take a shower, I can clear my head these are things that i can control it's these are things mental health, health yeah yeah general. yeah so i think it all goes together like i think sometimes and sometimes i think like for me personally like on a day that i'm feeling crappy and i don't get dressed <laughs> i feel even worse so it's right. like at least put on like a different pair of leggings at least right. put on you know cha like change something like change up what you're doing because it's not gonna get any better if you're just change your mojo don't yeah, keep it yeah, the same. <laughs> exactly. No, like that's what it is. Like just yeah. I feel you know. like that's how you mentally grow as well. Like just changing it up every now and yeah. then and just getting to learn new versions of yourself. Like let's say you're into leggings and a sports bra and a right. athletic sweater and running shoes. How would you know if you like slacks and a blouse and, right. and you gotta change up your mojo sometimes to get to learn the full version of yourself and sometimes like. just getting outside like i i've noticed that like watch uh, at the lake right read a book, right like, like yeah. a lot of the time like sometimes like my like when i'm going through it and like 
if I just like go outside or like take a little drive, like get out of the house, I'm like, oh my God, I feel so much better. And I Same. didn't even, I'm, all I had to do was get out of the house. Same. And that's it. Same. I feel like my way in staying motivated and being clean and healthy is my biggest thing um, when it comes to like being stressed or depressed or angry or feel like my mental health is just not where I want it to be. My biggest thing is going to the gym. Like, yeah. I stay going to the gym like when I'm in the worst. Yeah, Oh, oh, what happened? What are you saying? I'm, I'm, I'm over here trying to put the fucking information in and it hangs up the phone. So I'm waiting for him to call right no, now. No, you got to. I'll tell you how to do it. It's not going to let you do it that way. I'll tell you how to, We got one more question. But I'll All tell right, you how to. All right, you might call back. Okay. 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 All right, so my way of doing that. Yeah, we got to hurry up. We've been waiting on this call. <laughs> but um, that, that's my biggest thing is like self, self-care, self self he- like. Focus on you, bro. Yeah, like, yeah. You don't have to drink every day. And if you do, that's you. You know what I'm saying? You don't right. have to do drugs every day. And if you do, that's you. It, whatever the case may be. But that's my thing is reading, taking walks, going for a run, working yeah. out, drinking glee, uh, green juices, cleansing, detoxing. Like, that's going to be my way of staying right. healthy and clean. But our last question is, how do you get over an ex? Because I've had trouble with this. <laughs> okay. I, I have. I, I, I have trouble with this. I'm not the best at this, but I would say instead of focusing, instead of driving yourself crazy about what they're doing, what they're wanting, all that stuff, put all the energy that you put into them into yourself. Into yourself. No, I And agree. that's like, that's number one thing. Percent. Like, I, I think that's all you can do because really all it is is putting the energy into yourself and time. That's the only thing that is going to get you Because you get so it. caught up on doing it for them every day, waking up, cooking, right. cleaning, laundry, making the bed every day for them. Yep. You forget what your purpose in the relationship is. Yep. And I went, oh, that goes to another red flag, bro. Like when it comes to a man feeling like it's a woman's job to do all of these things, no, you're wrong. That's a privilege. You know, it's a privilege that, that you yeah. get to have. You're wrong though. It's not a woman's mm-hmm. job to cook. It's not a woman's job to clean. Just like, it's not technically a man's job to take out the trash because if you live alone, who's going to take it out for you? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's vice versa in these roles, and I feel like that... Especially if a woman is paying her own bills and right. working a job and all of that. There's like, income coming in. Exactly. Things, you know so, I mean? like, right. you, you got to be able to, like... It's got to be a partnership, 50-50. Yeah. Now, I'm going to say I agree with that, but how to get over next... I don't know. Well, I'm yeah, not going to feed y'all false information, but... I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up because we got to go help yeah. Vaughn with some important stuff. But thank you again for this video. Yay. I really enjoyed both of these videos with you. Hopefully, we get into some challenges next time you'll see us. Yes, you never yes. No, no, no. But y'all don't forget to subscribe to Emily's channel. It'll Yay. be in my description box. I might even pop it up <laughs> on the screen. But we'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.